Give me a home where the buffalo roam and the peacocks walk through my yard and never is heard a wandering ivory ball python who is getting away and a banana orange dream yellow belly head pied is so beautiful. What's up, snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpent Daily, and I got my daughter Aria here today. She's my little helper, right? You're home from school? Yeah. Yeah, she's a little, she was a little sicky. So one more day and you're going back. Mm -hmm. But we got a great clutch to check out. You know, a couple years ago, I produced the world's first banana orange dream freeway that was possibly had pied. And I've been waiting to breed this guy to this yellow belly pied female I had. Well, it went this year. We got, a we got only four eggs but they all hatched and we're gonna take a look and see what we got. Did the male prove out to be head pie? Did we produce that freeway orange dream banana pie? You'll have to find, check out and wait and find out. But I will tell you this, uh, there was a little surprise in there. We might have another gene floating around. Are you right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go take a look and see how that clutch worked out. All right, Aria, we are gonna feed the Annie Hall, the anaconda. That's her name, Annie Hall, from uh, the Woody Allen movie. Right, Pablo's gonna feed him so I can film. Okay, let's see. She likes, she only likes frozen thought. Let's see if she takes it. I have the pickiest anaconda of all time. Oops, she got it. She loves her frozen thought. Matter of fact, uh, I tried to feed her alive the other day, she wouldn't eat anything. And then Pablo had like a, found an old uh, rat that hadn't been eaten the day before, right? And you fed it and yep. she gobbled it down, right? Yep. What'd you think of that, Ari? Good. Annie Hall is, is gonna be happy now. She's gonna have a nice yeah. mouse in her belly. All right, so this is the male I was telling you about. This, is, uh, this was the world's first at the time. This is a, a banana orange dream freeway that was possibly head pied. And I, I, I think he's uh, enchy because the babies look enchy. He, it has to be coming from him. There's no other way. <laughs> There's no other way because I bred him to a yellow belly pied. I'll show you the female in a minute. He is a, he's a super genetic powerhouse, this guy. And when he was born, he was exquisitely unbelievable, to be honest with you. So let's take a look at the yellow belly female. A little bit of female, but we got some amazing babies you're going to see from these guys. So here is the um, the female of this clutch I'm going to show you. This is the yellow belly pie. You know, it's funny how just simple, incomplete dominant and recessive trait together just makes such a nice looking snake. This is a yellow belly pie. Very, very powerful uh, snake because yellow belly is powerful. And when you put it with pied, obviously, you can make some cool stuff. The idea behind the breeding that I'm gonna be showing you is that I wanted to produce freeway pieds or orange dream banana freeway pieds, actually, to be quite honest with you, which would have been awesome. The You'll see the results. I, I don't think that the male is actually uh, head pied. I think he's, he's a 50%. I don't think he, he didn't prove that, at least in this litter, but we'll, this clutch, we'll see. Uh, this female, though, however, is uh, gives us a lot of versatility, and uh, we can produce a lot of cool things with these yellow belly pies. Yellow belly clowns, too, same thing. A lot of versatility because you can bring those asphalt gene into it, and you can get the freeway into the pie and clowns, which obviously going to make them even crazier looking. So let's uh, let's take a look at this clutch. I'm sitting here on the floor with some amazing snakes. I got a great clutch on the ground. And I'm gonna show you uh, what just happened because we have a lot of uh, animal action here on the Palumbo property today. In the background there, you can see the peacocks wandering through my property. And the snakes are all going crazy. Let's take a look and see what we got. All right, let's start with these two beauties. Now the parents were Banana and she, or actually Banana Orange Dream Freeway which is a yellow belly asphalt. That freeway is that super combination or it acts like super form. 
and we bred it to a yellow belly pied. So everything's het pied right off the bat. I was hoping that my male was, was het pied too, but I don't think he proved out. I mean, he, I mean, I might have just hit really bad odds. I only have four babies, but eh, I probably would have hit one pied, I would have thought, but at least everything's het pied. These look to be, both be orange dream, and they're either yellow belly or asphalt. The freeway throws either the yellow belly or asphalt. This one looks yellow belly to me, but I don't know. And this one looks a little asphalty to me, which is because the yellow belly has more blushing on its lower surface. Oh, this one's look, this one's still shedding here. Um, so I'm not really sure about that, but I will tell you this. They both look enchy to me, <laughs> which, you know, harkens back to like, well, where is this enchy coming from? It obviously had to have come from the father because the mother was a yellow belly pipe. For sure. Definitely not enchy. And if the father was Enchi, and I somehow missed that, which would have made him Orange Dream, Banana, Mardi Gras, which is a Enchi freeway, then that would mean his father had to be Enchi. And I bought that father from Ozzy years ago, and it was an ivory with a possible everything. And it turned out the possible everything was possible everything. It was, uh, it was Banana, Orange Dream, and I think now it was Enchi too. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so I think, look at these head pinches. We got pinching off of the head right here. We have tremendous Enchi-like, you know, uh, I guess you could say coloring here. These guys are really, really at high energy today. So I really think these are Enchi. And I'm gonna show you why even when I look at the next snakes, why I think they're Enchi. Now these are two girls. The father was a male maker, so he was a banana. And that banana throws only banana to the males, unless we have a, you know, every once in a while you get a, 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 an exception to that rule. But these two girls are definitely girls. I've checked them out. So that fits the, um, the pattern of the male maker. These two look pretty identical. So I, I'm calling them Enchi, even though I don't know, if, I didn't know there was Enchi in there. Orange Dream, Yellow Belly or Asphalt. They're so nice, I'm almost thinking I'd like to keep them, but probably won't. All right, let's put them back. Let's take out our other, two. let's take our two males out now. And this first one is interesting because it's it's an ivory, which is a super yellow belly, but it looked so different. First of all, it has that really pinched head and it has a really dark head stamp. And I noticed, and you can see it in the light more here, it had like purple striping down its back. I couldn't figure out what the hell was causing that. I mean, this has got a very high pattern ivory. And then I realized when I sexed it and I saw it was a male, I said, this is a banana. That's what it is. It's a banana. And it could be orange dream even. A banana, possible orange dream ivory, which is a super yellow belly. Really nice looking female. I mean, I, I you know, this is a kind of snake that you, you wind up keeping because it's like a genetic powerhouse unless someone made me a good offer, but look at that. Look at the coloration. Ivories don't really show much pattern, but you can see the purples in here and, and that nice defined stripe. And she, and I think she's, I think she's Enchi too, just the way that little head is pinched off there. So this could be a, a banana orange dream Enchi uh, ivory that's obviously head pied as well. Now, can this be a pied, too? And if it was a visual pied, that would be my male was um, was proved out to be head pied. I don't know. I don't think so. I think I think I see a continuous, pretty continuous stripe here. So probably say no on that. But it's definitely 100% head pied. And then my final male, which is the stunner of this litter, really. I mean. I, mean, I still love banana. I don't know how anyone can't have a, like a thousand bananas in that collection. Look at this. Look how wet. Look at the high intensity look to this thing. This is a banana orange dream. It might be Enchi too. Yellow belly or asphalt. I would call this asphalt, but I don't know. I have to call it yellow belly or asphalt. And he's 100% head pied. Really, really gorgeous. I mean, really clean looking. I can't keep all the snakes in there at the same time. They're, 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 not, they're not cooperating. So I'm going to put this ivory back. 
Look at this guy, look at this guy. He's gorgeous. I mean, he's got so much color and contrast in him and those purples in the head and on the dorsal end there. Wow, that is a beautiful snake. And sometimes you get these great litters. And these, these clutches come out and you get tremendous, look at this, look at that blushing. And that could be due to the asphalt or it could be due to the yellow belly, but it's definitely one of them. And I, and I think it could be entry too, because it's really 3D high definition, this thing. But it doesn't have to be. It's definitely orange dream. It's definitely banana, obviously, it's a male. And then we have that yellow belly or asphalt, and it's 100% head pied. Let's see who has head pied markers. I mean, it's hard to tell some of bananas, but... It's 100% it's head pied, so I don't have to worry about it, but really, really nice looking snake here. Very happy. I, I might even keep him because if he's asphalt, he'd become very valuable as far as a breeder goes because he's only going to throw asphalt. All right, we got our Eclipse head albino male down here in the grass now so we can see him a little better, better lighting on him. You can see how beautiful this snake is. I think he's going in shed, actually. They're patternless and they're kind of solid, but they do have like a little bit of like chocolateish looking striping in them. But his head is pretty dark. He's really, really dark there. The first yeah. All right, Ari, that was a great clutch. You like yeah. those babies? Yeah. They were super cool, huh? Yeah. That banana was really. You like the bananas, right? Mm -hmm. Logan likes the banana ones too. And we got that cool ivory. That, that was also Orange Dream and Banana, it looks like. Yeah, so we got some cool stuff. Which snakes do you like the best? The boas or ball pythons? I love ball pythons. Ball pythons, why? Are they, you like to put them around your neck? Should we go get you one to put around your neck? All right, All right we got Aria Palumbo here with a beautiful banana pastel clown, het pied female. That is an awesome snake. That's a very expensive snake you got around your neck there too. Do you like that one? Uh-oh, she's getting a little scared. All right, guys, you know what to do. I hope you love the video. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Hit the like button. Guess what? We'll see you back Monday morning.